Hey, hey, Tim's Tips here. Number 50. This is a milestone. 50 videos here in the last 10 years. Um, let's show you how to, uh, why the sol sun power solar panels are better than the rest in terms of uh, efficiency per square foot, why I put so many on my rig, and why I chose sun power. From my other videos, you would have seen that I've eliminated all holes in the roof except for one small hole for the bathroom vent, but that's very small underneath there. Uh, I have no big vents or air conditioners on top. So you might ask, why are the angle brackets on the back of this uh, rig here? I did it for two reasons. One, it's stealthy. It looks like a contractor van with you know aluminum hanging out, and also I can hang attachments on it, either a shower or an awning in the back. So these solar panels have 22% efficiency, which is the most in the industry. However, they have an, another advantage. In real world, world in uh, hot rooftop temperatures, they perform better. And their website, I'm scrolling through their website here, uh, they have more efficiency per square foot on the, the lower and the center there. And over the lifetime, in year one, 45% more power. And in year 25, 81% more power overall, which is so impressive. Um, it's just amazing how much better these uh, solar panels or how less they will degrade over time, uh, including uh, the temperature performance. The power temperature coefficient there in the lower left is much better than some of the panels available, especially the Chinese ones. And you can see the small size, 61 by 41 inches is pretty small. So they fit on my van. You see the DC coupler there had to be tilted uh, in a certain manner. So I looked at the design um, installation specs and it, uh, it shows you everything you need to know here, how to mount them. Um, uh, should be mounted uh, 10 degrees angle to reduce soiling. So I uh, mounted mine on an angle for not only uh, reduced soiling, but to prevent water from entering the junction box. Uh, which can be a safety hazard. Um, so I followed the instructions here and uh, you know, just tilted them about maybe six, six, seven degrees, not the full 10. The solar panel electrical uh, connection is routed into these breakers uh, from Midnight Solar. These are, these are solar panel breakers. Uh, here's a picture of the panels. There's four panels uh, wired in series and parallel to give uh, just over 100 100 volts uh, to the solar charger, then it can charge um, uh, the Tesla Model 3 battery. And then another one panel charges the engine battery. So it has a separate solar charger that charges lead acid batteries. Here's the picture of the Tesla Model 3 battery being charged. I thank you for watching. Uh, welcome any comments and please subscribe.